Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can put rules in date fields to stop people typing incorrect dates. So the first one I want to do is make sure nobody can type a date checked date that is before the date join field. Now to do that, I need to go into table properties in design and set the rule. So if I go into design, and then I need to get properties on the screen, which I have already. There's the properties. I'll just pull this across a bit so you can see it. So this is table properties, and you've got the area here where I need to put the rule. So the rule is, I'll click into that line. You get these three ellipses at the end. If I click on that, it gives me the expression builder. And then I've got the two fields that I need. So date checked, I've double clicked on it, must be greater than or equals to date joined so that's the rule click ok to that now what i want to appear on the screen if that rule is broken is this enter a date correctly or something like that and then if i go into view mode i'll have to save that save it's telling me that some of the rules might have been broken already. I'm saying yes to that. Yes. And then I'm going to have a look. And let's have a look at this. So if I put a date in here, if I put a date before that date, before the 15th of June, so let's go for the 12th of June 2022, that breaks the rule when I press tab enter a date correctly comes up which is what I put in the rule click OK so then the date has to be after that so I'll put 23 and put April 23 when I tab off that that rule is OK so you're setting this up so nobody can actually type an incorrect date in that field now you can also do rules individually inside these columns. So for example, date checked, I could do a rule for that date check field. So this one I've just done was comparing these two fields, but an individual field, you can do a rule as well. And you do that in design also, but you're not doing it at table level, you're doing it at field level. So I'm on the date join field, and then you've got the same information there, um, validation rule. So I could put there that it's gotta be greater than today, so what I'm going to put in here is a function that is going to be greater than or equals to now, which is the computer clock. That's a function. You have to put it like that. Minus one day so they can actually enter today's date. Now, the dates I've already got in this table are going to break this rule. So I'm going to get some warnings coming up about the rule being broken. But this is what you'd set up before you actually started, start entering any data. So that's a rule. And then the text I can put in there. Enter a date in the future, for example. Let's save that. It's going to tell me, yeah, okay, yeah, and then have a look. So, obviously, these rules are already broken because the date join fields are already in. So, if I just give myself a new record, so 15, just tab it across, uh, Mr. Bob Dylan. I'll just tab across to the date joined. So if I make a mistake and put a date, say yesterday, so it's the 4th, 16th of April. So if I go the 15th of April 2023, that should break the rule and it stops me doing that. So that was in the past. Now if I go the 16th, which is what today's date is that lets me do it because I have that minus one on there. So this date checked field still is still got the rule on. So if I did a date checked in the past, it would also break the rule. So that now is set. When you enter a date in here, it has to be either the day you're typing it or in the future for date joined. Now, if you've got a situation where you do have to put retrospective dates in, obviously you can't put that rule at the field field level. This is just a little video of where you can put rules and if it applies to the type of data you have, you've got the field, you can put the rule in or you can compare fields 
by doing it in the table, in table properties in design. So that's where we did it. First one at table level in the property sheet for the table. The second one at field level in the property area for the field. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video. Thanks for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.